Hi there, mate. It's me again. This is going to be a lot better for you. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to your parents about how we can improve on Zoom or maybe even try a different platform or something for next week, okay? But for now, we're going to learn Beat It. Okay, so get clear on the strings. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to go and play that big six string clean, like you said, open. And then second finger is going to go on that six string on the third fret. And then first finger is going to go on the fifth string in the second fret. Then little finger has to go out to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Or you can use your third finger. And then back to the second fret of the fourth string. So, so far we've only been playing six, five, and four. Open on six. Third fret. Sixth string. Second fret. Fifth string. And then fifth fret, fourth string. Second fret, fourth string. Once again, slowly. Fifth fret, fourth string, second fret, fourth string. And then we go to the fourth fret, fourth string. Back to the second fret, fourth string. And then open fourth string. Twice. Like that and then I'm going to tab this out for you when we start a tablature or a tab is where you've got the lines as strings and then the numbers on the lines are the frets that you need to put your fingers in on those strings okay so that's the way tab works it's pretty clear on something like this it's pretty simple just like we had the tab for seven nation army fret on a string okay so that's the main riff. And then the, the power chords, the actual rhythm part of the verse is on the 7th fret where you started 7 Nation Army. But we're going to have another note with that as well. 4th string on the ninth fret. So you've got seventh fret and ninth fret. Seventh fret, fifth string, ninth fret, fourth string. So we just hit those two strings. You can have the low E string as well, but more just those two notes. Fifth string, fourth string. One, two, three. In a down stroke. Control the right hand, not too heavy. One more, and then move both those fingers exactly as they are back to the fifth and the seventh fret. Five, fifth fret, first finger, fifth string, seventh fret, third finger, fourth string. So I've got. It's just two on that one actually, the second one. in notes too to get used to it first before you put that other finger on. Seven, 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 five, five on the fifth string. And again. back to three and five it's the same chords the same thing just these two fingers on the fifth and the, and the fourth string back in the third fret and fifth fret now 
So three on this one. One, two, three, one more. Ba, ba, ba. So that's what we're working towards, but if you want to just get it happening on the notes for a start, like a bass line, that's fine too. So you can just go one, two, three on the seventh fret, one back to the fifth fret, and again. Third fret. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, and then back to seven. Okay, so I can tab that out for you too. Maybe with just that first finger, just one finger, and then we can figure out the power chords a bit later on. Okay. So let's just run this through from the beginning again, huh, to make sure that we're not going to get lost on this. Open 6th string, 3rd fret, 6th string, 2nd fret, 5th string. 5th fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, open on the 4th, 'd start with these root notes these fifth string notes it's either going to be on seven five or three those are the three notes we're playing one two three four one two one two three four one two one two three four one two one two three When you get really good at that, all you need to do is just hang that other note on top, on that fourth string, a fret over on the fourth string. I like doing that with my little finger. I'm doing it with my third finger because I think you're going to want to do it with your third finger probably more, okay? But. So every time I play that fifth string, I can have that fourth string one fret over, yeah, on that fourth string. So when I'm on the seventh fret, I've got the ninth fret. When I'm on the fifth fret, I've got the seventh fret on the fourth string. When I'm on the third fret, I've got the fifth fret on the fourth string. Just a little power chord harmony note. And then I don't really want to hit the other strings so much. It's just a really little tight sound like that. Okay. Cool. I better leave it at that, otherwise I won't be able to send it. It might get too long, so this is coming up to 10 minutes. I'll send that, and I'll send through the tab for you as well, and hopefully you'll be okay with all that. Good man. See you next week.